Hi guys, my name is Ozzy, and today I'm going to be doing a collection video on all the Funko Pop figurines I've collected so far. So I gotta play smart. I've been getting dope teams every time my phone rings. It's your as of February 22nd. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to do it based on the order in which I got them. So let's start with the Spider Collection. Like, I want to say about two weeks ago, I, I went into a GameStop and then I saw that they had a. Uh, the Funko Pops on sale. Normally, at GameStop, they're eleven seventy-five is the retail, and the retail for the Funko.com website is eleven dollars for the standard, fifteen for like the more exclusive ones. So I got these on sale. They were nine ninety each, which was really cool. Or like nine ninety nine or something like that. So I went ahead and got those. So first one was the Falcon from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier TV show that's about to come out on Disney Plus. Gonna be streaming soon. And then if you look on the back, I, I, I thought about getting the Winter Soldier one, but I don't know. It looks too boring. Maybe I might get it for the collection. But I, right now, the way I'm doing the collection and stuff is I don't really care about completing the set unless I like everything in the set. I'm not just gonna collect them just for the sake of c collecting them all. I'm only gonna collect it if I really like it. So the Baron Zemo one was cool. I mean, he, he looked he had some drip, but I, I should have got that one. The Winter Soldier one, I, Winter Soldier himself was just too boring. So hopefully this focuses. It's really cool. You see Falcon. He's got his little gauntlet. And then they have his little, uh, what do you call it? His Falcon drone. That's right next to him, as you can see in the image. A little red, little plain looking thing. That's his drone. So yeah, and then the next thing. Go ahead and put that in the back as we continue. The next one I got was this uh, Bumblebee. It's from the retro toy section. This is number 23. And I actually think I'm going to get all of these because I actually like all the Transformers and Decepticons as well. So on the back you see, uh, you see Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, Jazz, Soundwave, and Megatron. So I'm going to try to get all of them. I just ordered the Jazz one on, uh, on Walmart.com like a few days ago. And I'm going to get the Optimus Prime from GameStop. I think there was one stock around me. I'm going to find the Megatron and... The jazz. Those are the, those are the next three I gotta get. So definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna complete this collection for these. There's only five in the set, so I'll definitely get those. And then here are the ones that are already online. Let me look at my receipt real quick. So I bought these from the Funko.com website. You can see I got five in total. Loki should have got six, honestly, but really filled the box. But uh, anyway, I just buy them as I see them. So I used my little code and it gave me 10% off. So the, everything that was $11 was the... everyone. All of these were $11, so I put the 10% code on and then it became $9.90. With the exception of the Infinity War one, which is the Iron Hammer. This one, since it glows in the dark, it was not the standard edition, so it's $15. So my 10% off discount was $13.50. So all in all, I spent a total of $56.31. The subtotal was $53.10, and it was, uh, that's before tax. The after tax, it was $56.31. If I didn't use that 10% code, I would have spent like, I would have spent like $62, basically. Yeah, $62 more or less. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, this one is a glow in the dark one. I don't know if it'll, if it'll show, but let's see if we can make it go in the dark. I gotta turn off the lights in here real quick. So that's where this will work. Alright. Got to turn this other light too. This one says glow in the dark. So let's see. I'm gonna shine it with the UV light. Use my little black light to make it to uh, absorb all the UV rays so that way it'll shine. As you can see, you can see he's glowing a little bit. His hammer glows like a bluish green. Hopefully, it's kind of dark, so it's probably not going to pick it up that well. Go ahead and shine a little bit longer. See if it'll collect everything up. Yeah, you can see it's glowing green a little bit. But yeah, I don't know how I'm going to, I'm probably going to have to figure a better way to showcase the glow in the dark nature. But for now, we'll just go ahead and turn all the lights back on. Alright, let me put the UV light back. And that was the first of the set. So this is 
they have the other ones. They have Soldier Supreme, which is basically uh, Captain America and Doctor Strange mashed together. And then they have Arachnite, which is Moon Knight and Spider Man. So there's three in this set. These are the Infinity Warps, basically from the Infinity War, and they just they mash two characters together. So yeah, these are the, the three in this set. I'm gonna try to get the other two. The Soldier Supreme one is interesting. I don't know how I feel about the whole how uh, Cap Captain America having a uh, Doctor Supreme's mustache and goatee thing. It looks weird on him because he's blonde. I don't know, but uh, I'll, I'll try to get it though. This one is cool. And then the next one. My favorite one out of all. I try to get this at the Walmart. This is actually what started the whole hunt for these. I try to get this at Walmart, but they didn't have it in stock. On the website, it said it was in stock, but apparently when they ship it out, they have everything that came in in stock, and they just keep it until all the boxes are empty. So this is the 80th anniversary edition. So 80 years ago, Spider-Man, the character was created, the very first comic. It's called Amazing Fantasy, and it was the first edition. So Spider-Man, as you can see, they have like the the comic with his first appearance in it, which is pretty cool. And this is like one of those one-on-one -on -one sets, so I'm pretty sure the resale guys can go for this. And Spider-Man is my favorite superhero, for those of you that didn't know. Close second is Batman, then there's uh, Black Panther, The Flash, Green Arrow, and then, um, who else? I like Superman, and those are pretty much it. Oh yeah, and Stag Shot and Black Lightning. Those are my other favorite uh, superhero characters that are in my top ten. I like Blue Beetle too, he's cool. But yeah, in this one he has like the web, just like in the original comics, he has the web armpits. So it's like the little glider, the webs on his armpits, so when he glides, he can just like glide there. It looks pretty cool. So yeah, here's the back. Oh, no, no, no. Ah, ew. Yikes, okay, the box is still good though, we're good. So okay, I'm putting this on the dashboard of my car. So I don't, the box, is, I'm gonna keep the box, but it's not gonna be in my car. But yeah, here, here it is, the box. Ooh, hopefully I won't drop any more and that was not a good look. And this one is the Thanos one from uh, Avengers Endgame. Okay, so this set is huge, right? Uh, this one is a little bit taller than normal. I think normally the figures are like 5 inches tall. This Thanos, he's like 7 inches tall. I think like 6, 6 and a half inches, 7 basically. So this is it right here. I think the standard ones are usually 4 to 5 inches. So this one is a little bit taller. Like, let, me, let me put this in perspective. This is Thanos, right? You, you see how was like his head is a lot bigger, it takes up the whole box. So it's definitely bigger than the standard edition Funko Pop figurines. And of course he's got his uh infinity gauntlet with all the infinity with all six infinity stones. So that's pretty cool. He's got his little dual-sided blade thing that's perfectly balanced, he claims. So in this set, you got Tony Stark, Captain America, Hulk, Thor, Thanos, Black Widow, Ant-Man. Nebula, Hawkeye, War Machine, and Captain Marvel. So that's, let's see, 4, 8, plus 3. That's 11 in the total set. I don't know if I, I don't think I want all of them. I think I just want to collect the, I think I just want to collect the Hawkeye one, the War Machine, and Ant-Man, and Thor. And I might collect, maybe I might collect all of them, I don't know. I don't know. The Captain America one, I'm not really too into it, because he doesn't even have the shields in the picture, so it kind of, the Black Widow one is kind of boring too. War Machine looks cool though. I don't want to try it. We'll see how it, how it goes. We're hunting them down. The next one, really cool, Black Panther. I was hoping I got lucky enough to get the Chase, but I didn't, I didn't get it. The Chase would have been the one that comes with the detachable mask, but I didn't, I didn't get fortunate enough to get it. So, And for this set, there's, uh, there's seven in this set. You can see right here. It's got a Black Panther, Black Panther with the Warrior Falls, a Koye. Uh, Sh Shuri, Nakia, Eric Killmonger, and Eric Killmonger as the Glow Panther, which looks really cool. He's got the two blades. So you can see these are all the ones that come in this set right here. Yeah, he's got this cool cloth. It would have been cool if they made like a version of this where like he has the. When, when his suit absorbs all the energy and shockwaves from like other weapons and stuff and blasts, so it glows purple. They should have made a suit like that. That would have been a cool version for the Chase, but instead the Chase has the helmet. This mass, uh, which is still pretty cool. I still like it. And then right now, the last one that said that I ordered online from the Funko Pop site is the Batman. Batman and Spider-Man were both, uh, they both came out the same year. So this is the 80th, 80th uh, anniversary, which is really cool. So this is the Batman from 1989, which is really cool. And yeah, so this is also one of one set, as you can see. 
shows his uh, first appearance just eight years ago. So how long ago it was eight years ago? See, it's 2021 minus 80. 2021 minus 80. So 1941 was Batman's first appearance. Cool. So we're, yeah, so I really like this one. He's holding the Batarang in it as well, which I really like. You know, Batman's, even though he does have a mouth, you can tell that he's scowling, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. Alright, let's go to the next ones I got from Walmart. I'm just gonna go ahead and put these back in the box real quick. I want to not take this space. Boom, boom, boom. And then there. But yeah, I'm gonna put the Spider Man one, the Batman one, and uh, when I get the Miles Morales one, I'm gonna put that on the dashboard of my car. So I'll probably do an update video on how that looks later. So you guys will see that when I make the video. I'll show you guys how it looks like in my car. It'll be, it'll be pretty cool. Alright. On to the next ones I got. I got a total of six from Walmart. And at Walmart, they're 878. That's probably why they're selling out so fast at Walmart. Because normally GameStop sells it for 11.75. Walmart sells them for 8.78. And the Funko website sells $11 for the regulars. And then 15 for the exclusive ones that are like glow in the dark where they're just like really limited edition so let's go i'm gonna go ahead and do it like this i got a raphael all right i get raphael i got leonardo and donatello so this is part of the same set so leonardo the leader he's got the two katanas and donatello has the bow staff People be sleeping on Donatello. He's the smartest in the group. He literally makes all their high tech weapons and their vehicles and stuff. So I don't know why people be hating on Donatello. Donatello is so cool. He go it. So yeah. So in the set is Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Casey Jones. I'm gonna get everyone in the set. I actually like all of these. So I just gotta collect the remaining three. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna look on Walmart. And see, I, I saw the Michelangelo was sold out. It's probably because he eating a slice of pizza instead of holding his uh, nunchucks. This makes sense. It's very uh, Mikey fashion. I love it. It's cool. Put these to the side. Oh, I really have a tendency of dropping these in the video. That's the second one. I gotta relax. And then the next set is from uh, it's from X Men. These are all from the same same set. Yeah, this is from the X Men Origins movie. So I got Logan and Magneto. So in this set, there's Wolverine and Logan. They're both the same person, but they're just wearing two different outfits. Wolverine is wearing his X-Men outfit, and then Logan is just wearing the wife beater with a little belt buckle thing that he's got going on, as you can see. So in this set, there's Wolverine, Mystique, Nightcrawler, Magneto, Professor X in the wheelchair. Well, there was in the wheelchair. Sometimes he has a little levitated one from the, com from the cartoon series from a long time ago. Storm, Beast. Rogue, Jean Grey, Cyclops. I would, I would get everyone in this set. I'm just, I really want all the blue characters though, like Mystique, Nightcrawler, and Beast. Rogue is alright. Jean Grey is okay, I guess. Everything else is more interesting. I, got, like, I definitely need Storm. Definitely want that one for sure. Storm is a great character. Awesome powers. So yeah. But this is, wait, is this Magneto from the same thing? Oh no, no, this Magneto is from the Magneto. Uh, from the movie Days of Future Past, I just realized the outfit is the outfit is slightly different. They're just doing there's the same like color palette, but he's got the burgundy top instead of the black. So yeah, this one is from Days of Yo. Know, these are like super similar. That's crazy. Let me see. Four eighty eight. X Men Days of Future. Like they that's weird. They have like the numbers from the six thirty seven to six six thirty seven to six forty seven. But this is 488 Magneto instead of, oh, okay, I think I see why. This is only at Walmart, but this is from X-Men Origins, and this is Days of Future Past. Uh, is what I'm kind of confused, but it doesn't really matter. I'll put these two to the side. These were still cool. I'm going to try to get all the X-Men ones for the most part to complete the set. And I'm definitely going to get all the Dragon Ball Z ones. As you know, Dragon Ball Z is one of my favorite anime, you know, next to One Piece. So I got Majin Vegeta and Super Saiyan Gohan. These are from the same set. I gotta get Shenron. Shenron is the big one. It's a 10 inch figurine. And then Super Saiyan Goku. I just ordered that one online from Walmart's website. And Majin Buu Evil. Eh, I might get it. I'm not really into the whole Majin Buu Evil thing. I like the Kid Buu is my favorite. So if it was Kid Buu in the set, I would have got that. But it's cool though. I really like these. These are the last two of the six that I bought from Walmart. 
uh, Super Saiyan Goku is coming soon, and I'm gonna get the Ultra Instinct Goku at some point. But was, and I, one of my friends, shout out Peyton, I don't know if he's watching this, but shout out him, he got me the Super Saiyan God Goku figurine, like a year ago. So this is really cool, one of my favorite things I have. Awesome. Goku and all his God glory. <laughs> yeah. That was a great movie, Battle of the Gods. But yeah, these are the last two. So I'm definitely going to get all the Dragon Ball Z characters in this set. So yeah, let's see, how many do I have total? So I have, let's see, six, six, twelve. I have, I have 13 Funko Pops so far. I have 15 on the way. I have a Deadpool 30th anniversary with him cutting the cake with the two katanas. And then I have the Miles Morales, the classic suit from the video game. Those two are pre-orders. The Miles Morales one should be here on March 4th. The Deadpool one sometime in April. And then the remaining 12, I'll make a video on I'm not going to tell you what they are. You're just going to have to stay tuned. But I ordered those from Walmart.com. And they were all 878 with the exception of the Kevin Durant one. The Kevin Durant one was like 688. And then the Qatar one, I just started telling you what they are. Oh, well. But the Qatar one is 1099. But everything else, you guys are just going to have to stay tuned. Those, the rest will be a surprise. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm glad to be a part of the Funko Pop collecting uh, community now. And at first I was just in the sneaker collecting community and the fashion community on YouTube. Now I'm part of this community. So yeah, hopefully we uh, all catch up and we talk about our favorite Funko Pops in the comments. You guys go ahead and leave in the comments below which Funko Pop figurine you like the most or what you're trying to collect. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be collecting a lot of anime stuff and comic stuff. And I'm also going to try to get some from some movies like the Zombieland movies and a little bit from Star Wars. It'll, it'll, it'll be a variety. I'm not going to try to get every single one, but I'm just going to get the ones from series that I like. Because that, that's what really matters for me personally. So, uh, thank you guys for watching this video and that'll be all for now. And I'm out. Peace. Cuba. Cuba. Yeah. 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 These haters love